Hey guys, Ewan here, and I have an interesting one for you today. This guy right here, whose name is Brent Swanson, competed at the NPC Nationals this past weekend. And I'm sure that every single one of you watching this video is thinking, where are his abs? You can obviously see that he's gnarly, he's conditioned as hell, he's dry, he's super dry. But I'm wondering the same thing, where are his abdominal muscles? Is he born that way? He just doesn't have an abdominal wall? It's just skin right there without any muscle? Or is it just him never training it? But even when you're training your legs, you're working your core, even when you're benching or doing pretty much whatever, you really can't get away without engaging your core at least a little in many exercises, in most of them really. There are kids who never trained in their life before who have zero muscle on their bodies and still have a six-pack. How do they have a six-pack? Because they are lean enough and they do have abdominal wall, right? So what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on? Where are these guys' abs? Bro, you just didn't flex them, some of you might say, but even when you don't flex your abs, even when you relax your abdominal wall, you will still see some ab separation, in most cases at least. You should see it even when you don't flex your stomach. So, this dude is obviously muscular as hell, he's huge and he's absolutely ripped, extremely conditioned, he has a lot of muscle, but none to be found on his midsection, right? So, what is the problem? Look, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't talk about this if this guy didn't get the top 4 at the Nationals. Not sure which class was it, I don't wanna assume, but as you can see right here, the top 5, he was 4th, and all these guys are not flexing their abs in the, in the, in the last spread, right? Because that's a relaxed pose, and they all are showing some sort, more or less, but some sort of separation. Some abdominal wall, <laughs> I don't want to say development, but there is a midsection. It is there, it is at least a little separated, but on this guy, it's just void, basically. Emptiness, nothing. Another thing that actually triggered me into making this video, to talking about this, is the fact that nobody really commented on his abs or the lack of them in this comment section right here. So you have Phil Viz right here, who is a bodybuilding guru, a coach. He has been coaching some pros. He is currently in some kind of drama with Boston Lloyd. Boston has been trolling him. Anyways, uh, enough about that. As you can see right here, I did a little scrolling on his Instagram page. And I found this, this photo of himself. And this explained why he didn't notice the lack of abs on that guy's front double bicep. Because this guy doesn't have them either. What the hell is going on, guys? Where are the abs disappearing? Come on, guys. This trend must not continue. We will lose the abs forever in bodybuilding. Imagine bodybuilding in about 50 years and nobody has abs on the stage. I mean, what the hell is going on? Is this human evolution? Bodybuilding evolution? We are losing the abs as a muscle in our bodies? <laughs> come on, come on, we don't want to see that. Yeah, I'm joking, but I'm only half joking. Honestly, I don't know what is going on here. This guy is obviously lean, lean as hell. And uh, yeah, he's not flexing the stomach, but uh, obviously he's not that watery. I mean, you can see his legs here, they're pretty deeply separated. His arms and delts are pretty lean. As you can see, pretty dry, the chest too. The stomach is dry, don't get me wrong, the midsection seems dry, you can see some vascularity on it. But no abdominal development. No abs, no six pack, no four pack, nothing. This guy also took, I think, third or fourth place at the Nationals. And also did very well at the North Americans and the other NPC shows. So he nearly turned pro without having abs. Which is disturbing, to put it mildly. Look, maybe you guys don't mind bodybuilders having no abs. If that's the case, it's okay. You can say that you like it this way. I personally don't. But it doesn't matter, really. I'm gonna be fighting for this not to continue. But the point that I'm trying to make is, I don't get it. I just want somebody to explain it to me in the comments. Why these guys don't have abdominal development. Aren't you wondering the same thing when you see these photos? I'm sure you've seen this before on other bodybuilders. I'm sure all of you remember this, this thing right here, whatever this is. 
Obviously this guy was messing around with some sight enhancement oil, but when they asked him what the hell was wrong, he was like, well, it was some sort of inflammation because of he was injecting the gear in the delts, he didn't even mention Sintel, and he was like, well, you know, it got a little infected, like, it's okay. Hold on, hold on, it's not okay, it's not fine, this is not fine, this is, what the, what the hell is this? What? Ah, come on, come on, is this what bodybuilding is supposed to be? Is this the evolution of bodybuilding? These guys, this Sintel freak, so called, I don't even want to mention them, they have nothing to do with bodybuilding, they're just a bunch of freaks, lunatics, I don't even want to talk about it, this is disgusting, this, this makes me want to vomit, really. But this right here makes me angry, this makes me disturbed, because this is bodybuilding, and when people see this, somewhere on Google, you know, it will show up eventually to people who have nothing to do, nothing to do with bodybuilding. When they see this, they might think this is what bodybuilding is, and I don't want anybody to think this is bodybuilding, because this is definitely not bodybuilding. This is bodybuilding done wrong. This guy did the bodybuilding wrong. This guy's stomach also has no separation, but you can't even notice that. Uh, even though the, the midsection is the, the middle of the, of the physique and you always stare at it, but in this case you just can't get your look away from those wings or, or horns on, on his shoulders. Whatever that thing is, that was some horrible stuff. I can't really remember, but I hope that guy got last place at whatever show he was doing. And uh, this guy did not get last place. Obviously, he's looking much better. It's not that horrible. But still, th this is a trend that is becoming, I wouldn't say popular, but something that we see more and more often. Obviously, as you can see, it's not just Phil Wiz who commented on this photo. The admin of this page, Bodybuilders Without Borders, which is a great page, a phenomenal page. I love it. Um, Posted this guy, they're probably personal friends. I don't think anybody would like this physique. Why would you like this physique? <laughs> and the other guy that commented down below is trained by JP, that is Jordan Peters, who I think is a, is a brilliant man, brilliant bodybuilder. He's uh, so smart, he understands training so well. You can learn so much from this guy. If you guys want to learn more about training, go to his website, pay your subscription, seriously. I'm not paid to promote it, but uh, I just want to share the information with you guys because if you want to learn more about training, that is the place to go, trust me. So he knows everything about getting as big as possible, adding the biggest amount of muscle to your frame and to get as strong as possible, but when it comes to staying aesthetic, somewhat aesthetic, he has no idea about that. Obviously, if you want to be a classic physique bodybuilder, you probably shouldn't hire him. Maybe you should if you just need to grow muscle, but uh, if you want to try to stay aesthetic, to stay classic, probably not. And uh, this guy is also known for having a distended stomach, and not the, the kind that we saw on these uh, few guys before. He has some abs, but not very aesthetic physique, pretty blown up waist. So I understand him not noticing this guy's lack of abs, but he actually complimented his legs. <laughs> so whatever the reason is, it doesn't really matter, what matters is this is bodybuilding today. How bodybuilding evolved into this? How did this happen? How, where, where, how did we take this path? I'm confused. I'm obviously confused. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. This is what bodybuilding used to be. Every bodybuilder had a beautiful midsection, even when they were semi-relaxed. Today, they hit the pose and there is nothing to be seen on their stomachs. Like, stomach is something that is not important entirely. It's not really the problem only in competitors, but in the judges as well. If judges gave this guy fourth place, they completely ignored the look of his stomach. They didn't really care about the, this messed up midsection. And of course, when a guy like this shows up and takes fourth place, he'll be thinking, okay, I need to work on my lats, I need to grow my lats, I need to make my, I don't know, chest fuller, my back bigger, my my legs bigger or whatever. I'm pretty sure this guy is not gonna go back to training his abs every day or doing whatever it takes to, to fix to fix this problem because it truly really is a problem. And how did this problem get created? Is it TH? Is it insulin? I don't know. I don't see any any logical explanation to this. If you guys have any ideas, please share them down below with me. I will read all the comments and I will reply to the interesting ones. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, comment also down below. 
if you agree with me that this is just horrible and wrong direction for bodybuilders and if you have no idea what is causing it, like the video and thank you so much for watching. All the best guys and bye bye.